Uh, this is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the Precious Metal Summit in Beaver Creek, Colorado, 2015. I have with me John McConnell, Victoria Gold Corporation. It's a publicly traded company. The symbol is VIT on the TSX Venture. John, welcome to SNN Live. Thank you, Shelley. It's good to have you. Great. Let's get into it. An overview of the company, if you would. Sure. Uh, Victoria is a uh, venture exchange listed company. Our number one asset is the Eagle Project in the Yukon. Um, we're unique in that uh, for a venture exchange listed company in that we have three things. Number one, we have cash. We're currently sitting with a treasury of over 14 million. Number two, we have a fully permitted asset that in production will produce over 200,000 ounces of gold per year. And number three, we have exceptional blue sky exploration potential. What's your resource? Resource is 6.3 million ounces. Who are some of the companies that outlaw your district? Yeah, there's quite a few good companies in the Yukon. Uh, Kamenak, ATAC, um, Western Copper and Gold, uh, Well Green Platinum. So lots of good neighbors. So you're in development. You're getting ready probably soon to go into production. Explain. Yeah, uh, you know, our biggest thing now is financing. And that's no small task. We're, uh, you know, a company with a $40 million market cap. We need to raise $400 million. Um, we have a plan for that. And, uh, you know, but as soon as we get that financing plan in place, we start construction. 24 months later, we're in production. What's your background? I'm a mining engineer, graduate of the Colorado School of uh, Mines. I spent my whole career in Canada's north, Nunavut, NWT, and now in the Yukon. So of all the projects you've stepped foot on, how does this one rank in your entire career? Well, I have to say the Vic <laughs> Eagle Project's the best, but you know, there are some unique things about the Yukon that uh, makes it uh, unique. And one is when you think of working in the north, most people think it's isolated and poor infrastructure, where we actually enjoy very good infrastructure. We have a paved highway within uh, 45 kilometers of our project site. We have a gravel road into the site, so we have year-round road access. That paved highway system is also parallels the power grid. So we're 45 uh, kilometers from uh, power. Um, community of Mayo is about 50 kilometers away. It's a small community, but it has a full service airport. So we really do enjoy good infrastructure, despite being in the north. And as I like to say, you know, I've been in this business for 35 years. This is the first project I've had that I can drive to. <laughs> What size area is it? Um, well, the, the claim block is quite uh, sizable. It's probably uh, 20 kilometers north-south by 40 kilometers east-west. But the project, uh, Eagle Project itself, it'll be an open pit that's probably about, uh, I don't know, two and a half kilometers by a kilometer and 400, kilo or 400 meters deep. And I imagine it's high grade. Um, well, as a heat leach operation, it's high grade. Uh, our head grade will be 0.8 grams per ton. Uh, you compare that to an underground operation where generally they're about 8 grams per ton. It sounds low, but uh, the average heat, heat leach grade around the world is about 0.6. So for a heat leach operation, we are indeed high grade. John, let's get your website out there for our investor audience. www vitgoldcorp.com. Ladies and gentlemen, John McConnell, Victoria Gold Corporation, symbol VIT on the TSX Venture. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live from the Precious Metals Summit in Beaver Creek, Colorado, 2015. John, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me on, Shelley. You got it.